how long did it go on? It went on all winter long. Kathy Grant's driveway is high and dry now. But you know what it gets like in November and February. But this past fall and winter, it flooded after every heavy rain. Came up over my niece. She's lived here for more than 15 years, but last winter was the first her driveway went under. Somebody's backyard will be right through here. She blames the development next door, a proposed site for 300 new homes. They shouldn't have done what they've done without having the proper drainage in place. In here, you can see this tan white coloration. Um, that is silt from the site. In addition to the Grant's driveway, water and soil from the project eroded into two nearby creeks. State investigators say causing significant environmental damage, blocking and muddying spawning grounds for coho and steelhead. All the water from up top flowed down this roadway. Ecology field down. inspector Evan Dabrowski feared there station. would be a problem They're here last year roadway. when he issued several violations to the developer Stetson Heights. The property did not have proper erosion controls in place, like grass, straw, or matting products. And then the state says the company ignored those violations. The reaction has largely been, uh, oh yes, we'll get this done. Um, the problem is the follow through was not there. So the state issued Stetson Heights a $200,000 fine, one of the highest in the state in the past decade. The site manager says the company will appeal claiming the impact was not as bad as the state says. The state's got their documentation. We've got documentation. It was as bad as they say it is. The developer did reimburse Kathy Grant for what she spent on pumps last year, and she thinks they've taken steps to prevent future flooding on her property. Now, she says, it's time to make things right with the state. Well, they need to be accountable for what they did, absolutely. Drew Mickelson, King 5 News.